rejecting the U.S. ban, Advanced Semiconductor Material Lithography, ASML, publicly declared, we want to export DUV lithography machines to China. What happened to ASML? Why are they suddenly so strong-willed? Aren't they afraid of America? Don't be in a hurry to refute me, today, I want to share with you guys the deep meaning behind ASML's move. How far is China from the first domestic EUV? Hi! Welcome to TechTeller. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's move on to today's topic. As we all know, the Netherlands ASML is the world's most powerful lithography machine manufacturer. In the process of the United States implementation of the semiconductor industry blockade against China, ASML has also become an accomplice of the United States. An EUV lithography machine ordered by SMIC from ASML in 2019 has not been received so far. If we think that ASML dares to blatantly violate the US chip blockade order against China, I am afraid it really has no such courage. Although ASML is a Dutch lithography machine manufacturer, the core light source technology of its most cutting-edge EUV lithography machine comes from the American company Cyma. For a lithography machine, the core technology is the light source. Without a light source, semiconductor lithography is just water without sources and trees without roots. Cyma is the world's only supplier of extreme ultraviolet light sources. As long as Cyma cuts off the supply of extreme ultraviolet light sources, ASML's EUV lithography machine cannot be built. China's high-end chips are restricted by ASML, and ASML lithography machines are restricted by the extreme ultraviolet light source technology of the United States. The United States has indirectly restricted the development of China's semiconductor industry with a set of long-arm jurisdiction. To this day, many people still can't tell the difference between EUV lithography machine and DUV lithography machine. The biggest difference between the two is that the EUV lithography machine uses an extreme ultraviolet light source, which can be used to mass-produce high-end chips below 14 nanometers. The DUV lithography machine uses a deep ultraviolet light source, and its limit is to mass-produce 28 nanometer mid-to-low-end chips. The Dutch company ASML rejected the US ban and planned to export DUV lithography machines to China, which are not the most cutting-edge EUV lithography machines. So why is ASML exporting DUV lithography machines to China? There are three main reasons for this. Firstly, it is that ASML wants to make money from China. At present, the global chip market is polarized. On one side, the supply of high-end chips below 14 nanometers is in short supply, and on the other side, there is a serious surplus of mid-to-low-end chips above 28 nanometers. According to Korean media statistics, among the top 100 global chip manufacturers, 42 are from mainland China. However, mainland chip factories mainly produce mid-to-low-end chips above 28 nanometers, and high-end chips below 14 nanometers are almost monopolized by TSMC and Samsung. The production capacity of Chinese manufacturers in the field of mid-to-low-end chips above 28 nanometers has skyrocketed, prices have plummeted, output is large, and profits are low. It is typical of large but not strong. The profit of TSMC exceeds that of all chip factories in mainland China combined. After the overcapacity of mid-to-low-end chips, ASML's DUV lithography machine is not easy to sell. The world's largest manufacturing industry cluster for chips above 28 nanometers is in China, and only China still has the market space to increase orders for DUV lithography machines. Obviously, ASML has created an illusion that the United States is not allowed to sell, but I want to sell it in order to speed up the inventory clearance of DUV lithography machines. But how about more advanced EUV lithography machines that Chinese manufacturers want to buy the most? The second reason is that Shanghai Microelectronics has successfully developed the first domestic 28 nanometers DUV lithography machine, and the first delivery will be next year. This is the old way of Western technology blockade against China. When China doesn't have it, Western companies either sell at sky-high prices and make huge profits, or they block technology and prohibit them from selling. 
but it China develops it, they immediately cut prices, dumped at low prices, occupied the market in advance, and squeezed the living space of Chinese domestic enterprises. The same goes for lithography machines. Shanghai Microelectronics has just developed a 28 nanometers DUV lithography machine, and the ASML announced that it will resolutely export DUV lithography machines to China on a large scale despite the opposition of the United States. However, they did not mention a word about the EUV lithography machine that China really needs. The third reason is that DUV lithography machines are less dependent on American technology. The DUV lithography machine uses a deep ultraviolet light source, and there are three suppliers in the world that can provide deep ultraviolet light source technology, namely Saima in the United States, Gai Gafatan in Japan and Kui Hongyuan in China. That is to say, DUV lithography machines can completely get rid of American technology. If ASML wants to sell, the United States can't stop it. However, everyone has also seen that the core deep ultraviolet light source technology of DUV lithography machine can also be domestically produced in China. At present, the only defect of Shanghai Microelectronics is that the production capacity of DUV lithography machine is insufficient, and it cannot be supplied on a large scale. At this time, the Dutch ASML showed goodwill to China, but in fact it was a honey sword, hiding a knife in a smile. Many Chinese people have no confidence in the technological breakthrough of China's lithography machines, and they always say that they want to unify Taiwan and take over TSMC. However, TSMC's EVU core light source technology also comes from the United States. As long as the United States cuts off the supply of extreme ultraviolet light sources, TSMC will become an empty shell. Technical problems, anyway, must be solved with technology. In terms of core technology, China has no shortcuts. Since 2019, it has only been three years since the United States blocked Chinese lithography machines. Didn't Shanghai Microelectronics develop a 28 nanometers DUV lithography machine? From deep ultraviolet light source to extreme ultraviolet light source, perhaps, from DUV to EUV is not as difficult as everyone thinks. According to the three-generation development model of one generation of mass production, one generation of R&D, and one generation of design, we can believe that after the successful development of the DUV lithography machine, the next generation EUV lithography machine has also entered the research and development process. Maybe China just lacks some time. At present, the global chip industry is heading for the end of Moore's law, and 2 nanometers is almost the limit. In other words, if there is no major theoretical breakthrough, there is almost no room for the improvement of the chip process. Leading TSMC and Samsung can only stand still and wait for China to catch up. To put it simply, technical problems will eventually be solved with technological breakthroughs. Don't think about taking shortcuts, there are no shortcuts in technology innovation. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. Please keep following our channel and like our videos. I am Tech Teller, the person to tell you the opinions that worth spreading every day. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.